What's going on everybody? This video is for Carlos, who has requested a boiler that can produce enough steam and pressure to wash a car, but not be the size of the truck that he wants to put the device in. So today's goal is um, we're working on a miniaturized steam boiler that's going to be used for cleaning things and killing weeds as well. This is the combustor that I intend to install in these boilers. And um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to aim the boiler or the burner into the bottom of the boiler like so. And we're going to have a retarding duct here or a baffle that's going to have one side taken out of it. We're going to have our steam coil inside of a boiler tank that will be wrapped in insulation and inside of that tank will be a coil. I've got a tank right here that I'm kind of fooling around with. The fire will swirl around inside here in a cyclone formation and will be ejected out of the device through a vortex catcher which is going to be a three inch pipe at the center of the unit. That's where the gases will discharge. So the residence time of the combustion gases and heat will be far higher than just simply blasting it straight through the coil and out into the atmosphere. So we will be able to take this thing apart, I'm trying to find the end cap. I've got stuff laying everywhere right now. Essentially this will be connected to an end cap and as you lift the end cap off, the boiler will come out of the boiler casing. We will be using a stainless steel tubing. This is just a test tubing made out of copper to give us a general idea of about how big of a boiler we would need. I have a 50 footer on the way. So essentially the boiler coil will be connected to this end plate, which will be easily removed. The burner will be oriented in this direction here, and the flame baffle will induce the rotation of the flames, and they're gonna be ejected out of a ejection port here in the front that we haven't cut in yet but that's basically the strategy we're going to get a swirling ball of fire going in there a cyclone fireball basically and that's the little burner that's going to do it it's going to be about a hundred kilowatts all right guys another feature of this test is we're going to be testing the permalube finney advanced i don't think this is the real italian compressor but uh it's made in china Tell you what, this little thing's kind of impressive. It sounds like a vacuum cleaner. It is pulling cooling air through there so powerful that it's like a vacuum cleaner. It has two cooling fans on it. Very neat little compressor. This is gonna be the driver of that burner. So we're gonna test the two in tandem today. The only thing we want is the compressor itself. This little modular unit will fit directly inside the small container that we're going to be building. And it puts out about as much power as this large two horsepower compressor. I tested it with a flow gauge and it came out real close, about 2.5 cubic foot per minute at 45 PSI. Let's get this show on the road.
All right, so as I suspected, it's just too bright out here to see. I can't adjust the nozzle. I got to be able to see the flame. Definitely burning good. Very hot little burner right there. Now, the reason why I'm testing this on diesel, Carlos, is because eventually you're probably going to want to switch over to diesel. It's half the cost of propane when it comes to heating things up. This will also run on propane. Don't worry if you just have access to some cheap propane or that's just what you want to use. Don't uh, worry. This thing runs just as well on propane, if not better. I'm going to go ahead and uh, retest this tonight, but for now, that's all we're getting. Just wanted to show you what we got going on.